Namaste. Today I am going to discuss about accounting terminologies. Those terms which are used in accounting process or accounting steps. Because accounting is a process of identification, recording, classification, summarization and interpretation and analysis of different financial activities or transactions for calculation of exact profit or loss and find out the financial strength and financial position of the business. So for new students of grade 11 and 12, basically 9, 10, 11 and 12 students are must be familiar toward these different terminologies. If we understand about different terms, meaning of different terms, then we will understand about accounting process, accounting steps. So the first term of accounting process is financial transactions. Only in accounting system or accounting process, we as a businessman or as an accountant or as a mentor, as a teacher, we discuss about financial transactions or activities. Those activities which are related to money or money's worth are called financial transactions, financial activities, financial events. For example, Paid salary rupees 5000. Yeah, it is a financial transaction because it measured in terms of money rupees 5000. Basically, accounting cycle, accounting steps, accounting terminologies, better four wheels of accounting detail. There are four major wheels of accounting assets, liabilities, expenses, and losses income and expenses, the detailed form, the description form of these four wheels is known as accounting terminologies. So the second one is assets. The objective of business is predetermined. Basically there are two types of business. One is profit oriented, manufacturing industry or service oriented. Both types of business is needed, different types of assets. Assets are the properties or things which helps to earn profit and processing different types of raw materials in the business. Without assets, without different types of properties, things, we cannot get profit and we can't processing different types of raw materials change into finished goods. So that we need different types of assets. Basically, there are two types of assets. Assets, two types. One is current assets. The second one is fixed assets. On the basis of nature, we can classify, we can differentiate those assets which we can change into cash or cash equivalent within one accounting year are known as current assets. Those assets which business can change into cash or cash equivalent are known as current assets. Fixed assets, those assets or properties which business can use continuously for a long period of time are called fixed assets. Assets detailly I will discuss in next videos because this is a big, big topic. It has broad concept then I will discuss later. Then similarly liabilities. Liabilities are payable amount, obligation of business, which business I have to pay to others. Without liabilities, we cannot do anything in the business. 
we need two types of liabilities as well. One is short term current liabilities and another is long term liabilities. On the basis of time, again we can differentiate there are two types of liabilities. One is short term and another is long term. On the basis of time, we can differentiate those payable amount which we have to pay within one accounting year are short term. Ek barsa bitra, one accounting year for 12 month bitra, at any cost we have to pay. Then long term liabilities are those payable amount which business can use continuously or which business I have to pay after one year. Easily we can use more than one year, two year, three years, four years are called long term liabilities. Again, I will discuss detail about assets and liabilities my further videos. Very uh, carefully listen, watch and read these different types because these are very essential and fundamental terminologies of management students. Then the next one is depreciation. Yeah, where there are fixed assets, there must be depreciation. Simply we, we can say that depreciation is decreasing price of fixed assets. It is non-cash expenses. Depreciation is what? Non-cash expense. Non-cash expense. Because there are three types of transactions. Multi transaction, cash transaction, credit transaction and non-cash transaction. So non-cash is depreciation, amortization, return of somebody. These are called non-cash transactions. So all fixed assets are depreciated gradually. The such expenses are called non-cash expenses and it decreases profit, it decreases tax liabilities and on the basis of depreciation exactly fair price of any fixed assets we can calculate. About these different things, I have already mentioned my previous videos, depreciation, the linkage of depreciation is income statement and the income statement ko linkage is tax payable, ma kasari correlated huncha bhanne kuru, bale previous videos ma discussion gariya chun, sun dine hola, like gar dine hola, subscribe gar dine hola, maya gar dine hola. Then next one is appreciation. Sometimes fixed assets are appreciated. You know, appreciation means increase the value of fixed assets. This is non cash expense over it is the income. Appreciation ni kunai pani company ko profit pani badaunsa. Ra fixed asset ko value pani badaunsa. Then the next one is discount. Yeah, it is very well known term which is used in daily life of individuals and will, but not only in business. Discount is a facility, not compulsory. Facility provided by sellers to buyers. Sellers to buyer, buyer provide garni. Discount, there are two types. One is trade discount and cash discount. If we purchase goods and we get the discount for purchasing of bulk and bulk, huge and huge quantity, that is we call trades. Trade discount is a facility provided by sellers to buyers for purchasing of bulk or huge quantity and it is a kind of motivation of the customer. It motivates customer to purchase more and more or bulk quantity of goods. And cash discount is a facility given by creditors to debtors for quick payment. Sano cash collection host bande isabli provide gari ko discount la hamiki bancho cash discount. Ra body banda body chay amro good sell garna ko lagi provide gari ko discount la hai bancho trade discount. So discount is a facility not compulsory. This is facility provided by sellers to buyers or creators to debtors for motivating to purchase bulk quantity and quick payment ko lagi provide gari ko. So the very important next term is bad debts. 
it is loss irrecoverable amount which we unable to collect from debtors already i mentioned there were transaction there are two types cash and credit or if we sell goods on credit they are debtors and if debtors fail to pay total dues amount to company that is known as bad debts bad debts are written off bad debts return of its loss this is loss sometimes previously return of bad debts may recover recover bhaya bhane this is we call income bad debts recover is income bad debts return of is loss bad debts matrai bhanya cha bhane pani loss ho kasto loss if business can fail to receive cover irrecoverable from debtors is known as bad debts interest yeah it is excess amount than the principal amount already i mentioned above liability there are two types one is short term and another is long term if business take loan from bank or issue different types of share and debentures we have to pay interest to providers ra interest is the fixed cost of business every month we have to pay exact rate exact amount to the bank to debenture holder to bond holder so it is expense excess amount than the principal amount if we use any liabilities continuously above interest again there are two types eh? one is interest received from others if we invest amount or money to our different other areas then we get excess amount that is interest received at the loan le acha bhane interest pay garnu parne huncha next term is drawing yeah important one yeah, there are so many concept of accounting pehle yo banda agilo video ma ekdam discuss gari sakya chha business and investors are two separate identities investors invest capital money in the business and all the activities of the business are concerned to name of the business but not name of investors sometimes listen sometimes a investors take goods cash assets for their personal use household expenses such amount is known as drawing this drawing is reduced from capital the amount which is already invested by investors to investor the investment for amount but you can say reduction also if he or she is unable to return on time so drawing is the important drawing is a kind of it is with three attaches investment pani bancha if it is return with interest on time interest pani dio bhane invest treat garincha haina bhane anyatha drawing is reduced from capital insolvency very important one weak financial position or weak financial condition is known as insolvency if payable amount is more and more than receivable amount that is known as insolvency hami business chalaudai gayo ra hamro profit thorai bha receivable amount chadai chaina loss ai loss bha bhane this condition is known as insolvency sick industry bankrupt so weak financial conditions or position is known as insolvency then the second one is profit and loss yeah it is important one why business is start and establish to earn profit so if selling price is more athwa if income is more than different expenses that is known as profit incomes are more than expenses that is profit sometimes expenses are more than incomes that is loss ra in business this will happen profit and loss is the result of business yo hunai sakcha hune nai ho then the next one is dividend yeah dividend is the amount paid to investors or shareholders on the basis of profit 
मोर प्रॉफिट मोर डिविडेंड नो प्रॉफिट नो डिविडेंड सो दीज आर द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टर्म्स विच आर फ्रीक्वेंटली यूज इन अकाउंटिंग प्रोसेस और अकाउंटिंग स्टेप्स सो लिसन केयरफुली and understand very carefully about these terms basically four wheels bhitra kai hamro bibhinna analytical formula hami ke bhancho different account terms or terminology bhayera bhancho ra these are the fundamentals of management students and different businessmen so listen watch read write and think very seriously thank you very much thank you